Ever since I can remember, I've been fascinated with aviation and space travel. More recently, aviation artwork has caught my attention because my cousin, Gil Cohen, is a highly successful aviation artist whose work is displayed in museums and private collections around the world. You just saw a clip from a documentary series my guest, Jody Gorn Road, is working to produce called The Art of Aviation. Jody, thank you so much for being here. Thanks so much for having me, Shirley. I appreciate it. The subject matter alone is so interesting and eye opening. Let's first define what aviation art is. Aviation art encompasses a couple of things. Uh, combat artists were actually sent out into the field in wartime and still are to document what's happening on the ground, in the air. Uh, and then there are people who are, are just interested in aviation art in general who are historians as well. And they are documenting different times and places during various wars uh, to show, you know, what has been happening out in the field and then also documenting history for, you know, the history books. I had no idea that wartime artists existed or that the military had an arts program. Is this something you knew going into it? Not at all. I had no idea. Gil Cohen is my cousin, mm -hmm. and I knew he was an artist and had seen his work, but I never really focused on what it was and, or had, you know, we're, he's 91 years old. We right. have a lot of time in between us. <laughs> um, but when we really started talking about this, it, I was fascinated. I did not know that there was a military program, and actually the branches of the military have these programs where they're sending people out to document active wartime events, yeah. even to this day. Mm -hmm. There are people that were in Afghanistan all over the world. How did Gil get into this? Gil graduated college with an art degree, mm -hmm. and then he was drafted into the army, and he was just doodling, you know, using in his free time. Uh, but he has a very deep interest in history, mm -hmm. particularly World War II. He focuses a lot on the mighty 8th Air Force, and a lot of his work is in the Air Force Museum, mm -hmm. which is in Pooler, Georgia. And he captivates each moment by showing the humanity. Mm -hmm. That's what sets him apart. A lot of aviation art you see is just about the airplanes or multiple airplanes, whereas his work really focuses on the people mm -hmm. and their emotion of being in that moment in time. And so will the documentary series focus on other artists like Gil? Yes. Uh, there are a lot of people like Gil who are very talented. They're getting older, and I feel that it's so important to share their stories because they have firsthand, you know, information that yeah. they can share with us that will be lost if we don't you know, interview the, these folks and, and share that information. Yeah, and their experience, you know, and some of their techniques would be wonderful if they could be handed down to the next generation. I feel like aviation art is a waning art form. Are there any efforts to kind of keep it going? There really are, and, and this is a worldwide uh, art form that you can go to museums and see a lot of these these portrayals. The American Society of Aviation Artists is a group that really focuses on building and keeping this art form alive. And that they're going to be the subject of one of the episodes in the series as well. The series, you are still trying to put together the funding to complete it. Where do you stand with the project now? So we're approximately 80% done our first episode, which mm -hmm. is about Gil Cohen. And some of what we've already done will also go into other episodes. Uh, and at this point, I've been self-funding the whole way, so it's taking a little longer than I'd like it to. But, you know, we are really pretty far down the road and very excited about, you know, sharing all of this with the world. Mm -hmm. And it'll be five episodes in the series? That is correct. Culminating in space. <laughs> exactly. The, the fifth episode will be about uh, space travel. Okay, Jody. Well, the Greater Philadelphia Film Office, I know, is your fiscal sponsor. Yes. You all can donate to the project through the Greater Philadelphia Film Office to help fund the project. We will have a link for you on our website, whyy.org. Jody Gorenrode, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, Shirley. I appreciate it.